children today let us read together make room for elephants written by ruskin bond this poem is written by ruskin bond okay let us read together here join with me and read children i know the world's a crowded place and elephants do take up space but if it makes a difference lord i would gladly share my room and board a baby elephant would do but if he brings his mother too there is dad's garage he would not mind to elephants he is more than kind but i wonder what our mom would say children what a funny poem okay now let us get into our lesson number 3 children our lesson number 3 is meena's letter in this lesson they have given one get set page okay in this get set page they have given this worksheet we should complete how you have to complete i will explain you let me explain now here they have given three columns okay you have to get the information from your classmates and you have to fill the details here for example name name rahul what is his favorite tv program any kind of program you can also fill here i would like to say krish and favorite game cricket and favorite food is you can write his favorite food for example biryani in the same manner you should find out remaining two okay and after completing that column you have to fill this sentences too see here now describe any one of them by filling in the brackets see my classmate's name is i told you now how to fill in the columns in the same matter you have to bring here and you have to fill here see my classmate's name is you should fill with the name i like her or him because she is or he is good or very active you can fill with that word my classmate's favorite tv program is you can write any singing program or dance program or any cartoons you can write here and she or he likes to play which game they likes to play or he or she you can fill here she or he loves to eat which kind of food and remember when you are completing the sentence you have to keep full stop okay finally our get set page explanation is over and you have to fill this two columns children now let us get into the lesson meena's letter meena calls her grandfather nanu he is her mother's father meena wrote a letter to nanu about her new friend read what she wrote 15 july 2020 Dear Nanu, a new girl joined our class today. Miss asked her to sit in front and told the class to show her around and be friends with her, but nobody spoke to her. She was wearing a pretty bracelet and had a new bag and two long plates tied up with ribbons. Manu and Asim stared at her plates. Then they whispered to each other and laughed. She must have felt uncomfortable because she looked away. Gauri said she looked proud and stuck up. I thought she looked lonely and sad. She did not know anyone. So I went up to her and said hello. The new girl smiled and suddenly looked happy. I asked her to sit next to me and she started talking. I was glad that I had said hello because she is a really nice person. The funny thing is that she too is called Meena, short of Amina. She has come from Mumbai. 
her mother is going to work here we have become good friends and are interested in the same things we plan to do things together we have also decided to call ourselves the mina duo isn't that cool how are you and nani when will you visit us i really miss you both with lots of love your loving granddaughter mina now read the letter that mina's grandfather wrote in reply 19 july 2020 dear mina i'm so glad that you spoke to the new girl it is very difficult when you first go to a new place mina must have felt scared and lonely you made her feel welcome when you were warm and friendly towards people they also show their love and affection for you i'm really proud of you nani and i are busy making different kinds of snacks and sweets for you when we are through we will pack them all in a box and come to bengaluru i look forward to meeting the other mina with lots of love yours lovingly nano children let us read the letter once again and let us know the highlighted words in blue in from the glossary okay Dear Nano, a new girl joined our class today. Miss asked her to sit in front and told the class to show her around and be friends with her. But nobody spoke to her. She was wearing a pretty bracelet and had a new bag. She wore her hair into two long plaits tied up with ribbons. Mano and Asim stared at her plaits. Then they whispered to each other and laughed. She must have felt uncomfortable because she looked away. Gauri said she looked proud and stuck up. I thought she looked lonely and sad. She did not know anyone. So I went up to her and said hello. The new girl smiled and suddenly looked happy. I asked her to sit next to me and we started talking. I was glad that I had said hello because she is a really nice person the funny thing is that she too is called meena short for amina she has come from mumbai her mother is going to work here we have become good friends and are interested in the same things we plan to do things together we have also decided to call ourselves the meena duo Isn't that cool? How are you and Nani? When will you visit us? I really miss you both. With lots of love, your loving granddaughter, Meena. Children, who is writing this letter? Meena. To whom she is writing? She is writing to Nanu. Nanu means here grandfather. She calls her grandfather Nanu. Okay. What she wrote? She wrote about a new girl who newly joined to her class and also she told about how she looks and what she wears and how she was after that how the classmates had behaved with her and also she told after saying hello to her and after that what happened and how they became good friends everything she wrote the letter to nanu finally the other girl also named meena so only they called theirself duo which duo they called theirself meena duo and she is also asking about when they are going to visit them who nanu and nani okay and with lots of love she wrote the letter Okay Children now let us read the letter that Meena's grandfather wrote in reply See here 19 July 2020 Dear Meena I am so glad that you spoke to the new girl It is very difficult when you first go to a new place Meena must have felt scared and lonely You made her feel welcome when you are warm and friendly towards people 
they also show their love and affection for you i am really proud of you nani and i are busy making different kinds of snacks and sweets for you when we are through we will pack them all in a big box and come to bangalore i look forward to meeting the other meena with lots of love yours lovingly nano so finally and finally her grandfather also wrote a play and what is it he is very proud of his granddaughter because his granddaughter welcomed the new girl with a best way what it is she spent some time with her and who are very scared and lonely and also he is praising her because the way she showed the affection on the new girl and giving support is a not a small matter when you will go to a new place you will also feel little scared and lonely right so only we have to be like a meena isn't it after that what father is saying he is saying that he himself and nani also busy in making different kinds of snacks and sweets for meena after making the snacks they also planning to pack them in a box and they want to go to the bengaluru and to visit the new meena too and finally with lots of love the grandfather also return a reply children have you written any letter to whom you have written these days we are having mobiles and land phones but in previous years we doesn't have any telephones so on the days all the children or elders are used to send messages through the letter these letters are taken a place on those days to pass the messages okay and before that they use it to send the persons to meet to convey the message and before that they used to pigeons to send the message through the small piece of letter tying them to the pigeons leg so nowadays we are using mobile phones and now also you can use the letter to send the message to your grandparents or your relatives try to write a letter to your relatives okay finally we have completed our two letters from the lesson 3 in our next class let us start the exercises from the lesson okay children thank you